Hello everyone in YouTube land. How are you doing? Today, I wanted to share something with you. I wanted to show you a review of the Direct Action Ghost Backpack. Now in itself, it's no big deal because there's a lot of these out th reviews on this now. But, this is the one year review. I got this pack when they first came out to the States. Around summer uh, 2015, it is now J July 2016. So it's been one year since I've used this. So let's look at a one year long term use of this and how well it's held up and user impressions of it, okay? So if you look at what I got here, you can see that I got a water bottle here and a tripod here. I personally do not use this bag for like bushcrafting or hiking much. I prefer to use it for work and like a shopping bag. And I'll use it as a backup bag to go hiking with. So if I want to go hiking, the bush crab, that's the king. That is my champ right there. That is the Camelback tri -zip. Absolutely most comfortable pack out there. This is comfortable, but this is more comfortable. But we'll have to go in that discussion later. And because it's summertime, if I really want to go lighter and cooler, I use this for my summertime uh, outdoor adventures. But having said that, that's not this is a bad choice. Let's go over uh, some of the pros and cons. Oh, and before speaking of pros and cons, I should mention this pack does come with a waist belt. But I don't use the waist belt because I use it for work a lot. What I do is, as you can see here, I've taken the waist belt off and using the included belt and Y strap here, I've attached these two pouches on it so that I can use it in conjunction with this or just my hydration bladder in order to go hiking in the woods and stuff. Uh, not that you can see it from here, but the woods over there and around. And the summertime weather, it works fantastic. But let's get back onto the one year review. Okay, so here's the deal. You know that these, if you watch enough Amazon reviews, if you read enough of those watching the videos, you know this thing has water bottle holders and they're kind of cool because they zip up. But they don't hold bottles very well. This is a 40 ounce clean canteen with a GSI cup. If you do not have a carbiner or something here, it's just going to fly out. So keep that in mind. These are not the best um, cup holders in the world. What is nice though, it does a decent job actually of holding a tripod. So if you're trying to do some outdoor photography or something, it's actually decent for this. Okay, next. These straps are thin, but they are comfortable. And the reason they're comfortable is because of this combat vent system. This thing is really good. It's not gonna prevent you from sweating, but the padding and stuff does give you back support, and yet it honestly does help keep you cool. Compared to something like my 511 Rush 24, this gives you much more back support, and it's much more cooler. And it, this design, with this like thin strap, in here, it's comfortable. It's a very comfortable design, actually. If there's a problem with it though, if you can look carefully, see like where my thumb is pointing, how you can see that stitching coming up? It seems like after a year of running that over my right shoulder, it's stressing this shoulder strap. I don't know if that's going to be a long-term issue or not, but for right now, just that's something I'd keep an eye on if you have, you're an owner of this backpack. Now let's look over here. This pack in the back hydration compartment is very rumored. I have a 13-inch MacBook Pro. I have a book, actually a little like a spiral notebook here I'm reading. I have my own little uh, journal here I keep. And I have a folder full of notes and stuff like that. Okay, so if you have a 13 inch MacBook or a similar size, um, you know, laptop computer, have the satisfaction of knowing it will fit in here. If you're into bushcrafting, you will be happy to know that it can carry your gear. So if I pull this zipper, and by the way, these are YKK zippers, but they're not the smoothest ones available. They're kind of rough. That's why I'm having to struggle with getting this open. Okay. See right here, I have this German nap mat, you know, it's a sleeping pad, German that you can get uh, German surplus. I paid about 20, no, 16 bucks for this a couple years ago. You know, very good, and it does fit in here. It's a tight fit, but it does work. And I have this British Army 
bash the tent, you might be able to see the desert camouflage pattern here. Genuine army surplus, by the way, and it is a very nice piece of equipment. I like it a lot. Um, if this was empty, you could take like a Gerber machete and squeeze it in here and it would stay in the back compartment, which is really nice if you're in areas where you have like you know restrictions on blade carrying or open carry with blades this is a nice feature to be able to just tuck it back here out of the way along with maybe a smaller knife it works great for that um let's get the tripod off okay next you know something you've probably heard about in enough reviews is how this pouch here detaches from here it does and it's actually kind of cool as a guy who actually uses this you know for long term one of the reasons i like this now these zippers work nice, but the ones up here don't. I actually keep like a medical bandage, spare poncho, and stuff like that in here. So if there was a real emergency where I had to just like dump this to take this, I could actually do that. And I keep like a multi-tool and some other small items in here. So it's like an EDC bag right here with this carrying all the yeah, stuff I'd need for work or shopping. Pretty nice. And of course, you know, like the cord lock here comes off. The bungee cord comes out and you just uh, yank it right out of there and if you want thanks to this right here you can connect this to the back of the belt to form like a butt pack or to your other favorite backpack this right here works great I keep extra food in here so that way if I stay late at work instead of me gorging on you know crap I have some healthy food there to eat on and I got this pocket here, which I really like. Great for an EDC bag. Just, you know, you don't know what you need to get. Like, I keep my iPhone cables in here. I keep my bank books in here I need. Stuff like that. Quick, easy stuff that I'm going to grab every day. Wonderful. This eyeglass holder. Sunglass holder. I think it's a great position. The Rush 24 and other similar brands have the pocket back here. And I will tell you from painful experience, if you put your glasses here, they will get crushed. I had $200 Maui Gym glasses crushed that way. By keeping it in the front, it seems to be okay. And on the Ghost, it's a very roomy pocket. Works great. I like it. Um, I would say, so it's pretty comfortable. I will say this though, if you load this up for like a camp, like a hiking trip, let's put this in quotations. I find that compared to the, the camel back here, it gets uncomfortable. I don't know what it is, but when I put the waist belt on and I got it like kitted up, it actually feels like it's pulling on my shoulders and I feel tension in my neck with it. It's kind of hard to explain. It sometimes actually feels a little more comfortable without the waist belt. You know, people's body types are different, so it might be different for you, but for me, it gets uncomfortable. So for me, I will not, if I'm going to go like a typical day hike, like I would use the Camelback for, I won't use this. This is for some light bushcrafting or filming in the nearby woods. But for long hikes and stuff, I won't use this. I'll use the Tri-Zip instead. Or I'll even use this because this is actually comfortable loaded up. It feels really good. By the way, this is the Dragon Egg. Look at that beautiful mandra. I'm sorry. This is the, uh, what, Cryptic Highlander? Oh, it's such a gorgeous color, isn't it? Anyway. So let me share one more thought with you on this. One more con about this. I told you the shoulder strap has an issue. You know, it looks like it's fraying. Look at all this stuff. Okay, this is the laser cut Molly. Look at all this white stuff here. It's like, what is this? It's really kind of hard to figure out. I mean, it's, it's the material fraying. And whether that means it just needs to be shaved off like you sometimes see on other backpacks or does that mean like in the long term this thing just going to start you know coming apart i don't know but uh that's something to keep an eye on it is kind of annoying because it gets ugly i mean some of this stuff hasn't even stressed like i don't like up here i don't keep anything here but look at how it's stressed right here i don't keep stuff here but look how it's all stressed out on here i normally do keep a water bottle holder because my office space is cramped i had to take this off and i had to take one off on the other side so that I can get through the cubicles. But normally I would stress these, so at least I can understand this, because these were stressed a little bit. But the rest of this stuff, I don't keep any pouches on, so I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, um, I would say if you're interested in buying one, it is a win. It is definitely worth your consideration. Just do a little research to see if it's really, uh, you know, if it's what you want. Oh yeah, and keep in mind that there was a later upgrade in which they, this strap 
instead of just being a buckle here that's designed to go connect here when this is disconnected they now made it to where they had a strap here so that you could use to cinch this down but my version doesn't come with that because I have like one of the uh, early productions other than that it's the same thing from a year ago it is a win check it out I think you'll enjoy it but just be mindful of those two defects I said the problem with the shoulder strap and this uh, you know threading issue here and that I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching out